Hi there, this is Michelle Castillo and I am going to cover a uh, plugin today as I'm going to do uh, every week in the next uh, few weeks. Uh, the videos are going to be titled Plugin of the Week and I'm going to share uh, plugins that I use and like. Hopefully you will learn something. So today we're going to talk about Slick Social Share Buttons. This is a plugin that allows me to add this uh, Slick Social Share Buttons on uh, the left here. Uh, this is in my case, but you can put uh, this uh, tab in various places on your website. And um, the plugin is already installed on my site, so uh, we are not going to go and, and show how to install it, but I'm sure you already know how to do that. It's called Slick Social Buttons, and once you install it, uh, you will find a new uh, submenu on the left sidebar of your admin area and it is titled social buttons so the important part is the social button settings and here you can set the different parameters that um, set the way that uh, this tab looks on your site uh, in my case right now it is a floating tab uh, if I click on slide out and uh, every time we'll have to save the settings and go back to the site and reload the site so please bear with me. Uh, now the the tab actually comes from uh, slides out from the side of the screen. Uh, there are I kind of like the floating, so we will leave it at that. Um, you can uh, tell the system if you want the tab. Uh, on the left, on the right, uh, the bottom, and so on. Uh, I'll keep it on the left. And uh, here, uh, there is a way to define the position of uh, the tab. And in my case, it is positioned from center and uh, 580 pixels from the center of the screen. But it's not a, a, a rocket science. You can just uh, put the pixel numbers and and play with it until it is uh, where you want it uh, to be. Um, I have disabled the floating floating effect, but uh, let me show you what happens if I enable it. So if you enable it, actually the the tab follows in a slicker way. It kind of uh, floats after uh, your content. Other options include the speed of the float and uh, the slide speed. You can also decide if you want to load it open or closed. I like it to open. And I'm even thinking maybe I should uh, go into the styling sheet and simply uh, hide the share uh, header here because uh, these buttons are already uh, well known and I don't think people need to know that it's called share. Um, then uh, at the bottom here you can uh, decide where you want to show the tab so you can decide uh, if you want to show it on home pages, home page and pages or not. And um, next, you can decide what, how the buttons are, which share buttons are going to be there, and which, uh, what format uh, you want them to look like. So uh, there are usually uh, about three options. These are all coming from the social uh, media networks themselves because they have, uh, they provide us with uh, an interface to few uh, shapes and formats. So uh, you can you have quite a selection here. I've selected what I thought uh, would be useful to my uh, audience, but you may pick anything you want. So uh, yeah, hope uh, you found it useful. And if you have any questions, uh, write them down at the bottom of this post, and I will be happy to answer. Thank you.